where is the systemic racism coming from? And I would say one point that isn't really talked about in this video here is that there is, there's got to be some kind of systemic issues, historical issues. And I think there are many of them. If you listen to Thomas Sowell, and he's a historian and an economist, and he goes through all sorts of um, impacts from history that, that are still being felt in the modern day, uh, specifically from slavery. And a lot of those issues that we have um, today, issues, problems with uh, violence and crime and things like that, these things are, in fact, inherited from a legacy of slavery, but it's not quite what you think. If you read Black, Rednecks, and White Liberals from Thomas O, highly recommend it. He, he details how actually this, the gang thug life culture, um, the gang culture that is a cause of the, a lot of the crime, which the police are then responding to, which then creates a bunch of police brutality uh, incidents, potentially, or police shooting incidents that can be framed as brutal. Um, you know, this actually comes from white Irish Celtic uh, society. The Burning Crosses are a Scottish tribal clan warfare, uh, you know, scare tactic. Um, that that then migrated to America, and that's where the KKK got that from. Um, the Fenian Brotherhood, they were pretty vicious. That's the reason why we um, fought the War of 1812 here in Canada. The reason why the Canadian loyalists uh, went down to America and burned down the White House twice is because Irish Fenian Brotherhood members were coming across the border and raiding and killing people in Canada. They were raiding and killing the loyalists. Um, and being quite brutal about it. And um, because of that, the British Empire uh, allowed the Canadian citizenry to uh, take up arms, and that's actually why we still have the privilege to keep and bear arms, well, not bear, to keep arms and bear them when we go hunting, and in no other circumstance other than shooting at the range, but we still have the privilege to have some firearms. And it comes from this because the Fenian Brotherhood kept raiding us, and that's Irish, you know, and uh, the... I guess who down in the south had a lot of slaves? It was the Irish and the Scots and the Celtic uh, rednecks, the uh, the old savage Highlanders and uh, and Celtic uh, barbarians. Uh, you know, they're the ones who you know had that uh, culture that uh, had a lot of violence, had a lot of loose morality per se, um, and and they were held a lot of slaves. Those slaves took that culture up. Um, and then when slavery ended, a lot of those slaves migrated into the north and they brought that culture with them. Um, whereas in the north, you had a much more refined Scottish and English and Irish kind of cult culture. Uh, maybe less the Irish, but certainly the Scots and bankers and professionals and academics and things like that. A uh, very different English liberal kind of society in the Republican north at the time. And then at the end, the great flip that they talk about is a lot of those well-educated, well-meaning uh, Republican uh, English liberals in the north, they went down for reconstruction into the south to try to help the south, you know, uh, improve the literacy rates and all these things, um, and help the south rebuild and be as strong as the north was. And a lot of the southern blacks, who were now freed slaves, went up to the north into the cities to look for, for work. And, um, and they brought that culture with them, and that culture persists today, um, in the form of the sort of the gang, urban, you know, hood culture with uh, gangs and drug dealing and drive-by shootings and all this kind of stuff. That's actually inherited from, like, Celtic, barbaric, barbaric culture. Um, and, and I'm going to say it, you know why? Because I am as Irish as can be. Shall I pull out my Irish passport? Yeah, I'll do it right here. What's that, guys? You see that? That's an Irish passport. You know why? It's because I'm three quarters Irish and the other quarter is Welsh, which is pretty much Irish, isn't it? Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's, you know, another form of the Celts who have gone into the English Ireland. You know, all the Scots, they're actually Irish um, warriors. The Irish used to have a very powerful kingdom compared to England, and they sent a lot of their warriors to take over the entire island of England. Um, they only succeeded in taking the northern part, which is now Scotland, and then the British, the English were able to, um, not the British, we're all British, uh, in the British Isles, but uh, the English, they were able to, to drive the Scots off, and the Scots stayed up there, and uh, they were actually Irish, and that's why they have kilts. Scots have kilts, because the Irish had kilts before them. Sorry, Scots, you're all Irish too, that's why you both speak Gaelic. Ah. Well, isn't it a coincidence? Yes. Anyways... <laughs>
enough of that. That all doesn't mean that America is racist or systemically racist. That is just history. History has an impact on the future, on the present. Yes, that's true and kind of obvious. But what they went through here is very is a little bit more specific and say, well, the Democrats, in order to combat the tides of history and try to change the situation for the black Americans, they instituted and targeted all sorts of government policies to the black people that Stephen Crowder, in great detail, elaborates that, well, on these democratic social welfare, socialist kind of policies, housing, uh, food stamps, all this kind of stuff, what that actually ended up doing is incentivize single motherhood, made it hard, you know, incentivize the, the men being out of the home because then you get more money, you get more food stamps, you get better apartment, the rent's lower, all these kind of things. And, and I understand from my own personal life experience that this is very true. There are real financial calculations where you're like, huh, wait, we're going to do better if we're separated. Maybe we should pretend to be separate. And then guess what? And then you become actually separated. That, that's how these things go. Maybe if I get my own place, well, then one thing leads to another. And you're like, oh, still calculation works out. So there are real incentives there, especially if you are amongst the lower classes, which I would say I'm. that's where I'm from, even though I'm Pulling myself out, you know, making myself great again, making Canada and America great again. That's what we're trying to do, we're trying to build it up. But I digress. That's what the Democrats arguably were trying to do as well. But the policies backfired as often as Democratic policies often do, um, it turns out, it seems. And then they never update them. Um, so Stephen Crowder is going off. Look, here's how systemic racism isn't real. It's not that the police are racist. It's that... Black Americans commit a proportionately more crime. They actually get shot less often than other race, racial groups, proportionate to the amount of crime that all the racial groups commit. You know, black people get shot less by the police, but they also commit a lot more crime, so they get shot more just by the raw numbers. Um, so, well, what's the problem there? The, the, the far-right racist, they'll, oh, well, it's because the Africans are this, uh, you know, genetics. I was like, oh, that's crazy talk. That's, look at this guy, Cole, Car uh, this Kendall Cole here, he's super smart. And uh, it's got nothing to do with race. It's got everything to do with culture, in my opinion. It's got everything to do with culture. Okay, well then, what's the culture that's driving the violence that's then driving the police shootings? Well, the culture... Oh, as I explained, it's about the Fenian Brotherhood and Irish sort of culture from the, you know, tribal warfare, family feud, blood feud kind of stuff. Um, okay, but that's like also really far away. What's more recent than that? And Kendall Cole here brings it up uh, quite good. Well, it's the, the crime is because of the fatherlessness and the poverty, right? Well, what's the poverty and the fatherlessness coming from? Well, it's because the social policies from the Democrats targeted specifically at black people that actually make these problems worse that lead to all these issues. Please consider subscribing if you like the content. Leave a like or a comment, I'll probably reply. Hit that notification bell and the all button if you want to get it. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably suppressing it. Maybe I'm not big enough for them to notice or care yet, but uh, that'd be kind of uh, be kind of flattering if they were.